I know I took a hiatus, hiatus, if I can even say anything wrong, I can't even English, but I'm back, yay, because I had stuff in my life that happened, so, you know, not going to details, good, bad, there was both, so I'm not too worried, but I'm back, I'm going to try to be back now, I'm going to try to get back into my schedule of at least every Thursday, and then we'll go slowly build up to more days of the week, um, so, but today, guys, I'm just going to talk to you guys. Um, we're going to sit here and have a little conversation about the movies that are upcoming this year. There are a lot of live action movies this year. I mean, besides one animated video that's going to be this year. But most of them are all live action. Disney's on the live action kick for 2019. But I am going to tell you the movies that are coming out that I'm plan on going to see and I'm gonna exclude Marvel and all the superhero ones because that's for another thing and I'm not much into Marvel. I mean I do, I do mind them but I don't I'm not much of like a diehard Marvel fan. I'm more of your typical original Disney anything whatever. But the first one we're gonna talk about is Dumbo live action which is coming out into this month. Um on March 29th. This one, I'm very, very, very skeptical right now because I seen the trailer for it when I was watched Mary Poppins Return last year, and to me, I feel like it's falling off the bandwagon, I'm assuming, for Dumbo itself, of the actual cartoon, well, the animated version of it. I kind of miss, no offense, I know they, they said, oh, it's because it was racial at the time, but I do miss the crows, and there's no crows in this version, and I'm just kind of like, it was, it made it, it made it what it was. I know people were all like, oh, it was all racial, whatever, I understand, but that was the time period and everything, but you know what, we all need to get over it, it's 2019, guys, and we're still being offended over racial stuff. I'm just, yeah, I'm just getting bobbergasted against it, but whatever. But then in just adding characters that made no sense to me whatsoever to add to Dumbo. There was not even hardly any human connection besides the ringleader and the clowns in the um, original movie. So I thought, oh, this is just kind of off. And I don't, and I don't know, I didn't see, I saw them, I saw Timothy Mouse, but I don't think he got the part like he's supposed to. I mean, come on guys, it's just... I don't know. I might still go see it just to see if what it is, but to me, I feel like it's fallen off the bandwagon of Dumbo itself, at least the original story. So, I'm not going to be a big fan of it. Just to say. I, I might go see it just to see it, and maybe, maybe it might surprise me if I go see it and it changes my mind, but I just feel like it's not doing what it's supposed to do. So... That's my spiel and that's my opinion. Please don't take it to heart. I mean, some of you guys might be excited to see it, but for me, it's kind of a I don't know yet type thing. Like, I could see it could be a good movie and I could see it being a bad movie. So, and I know, like, you know, Tim Burton's doing it and everything like that, but I don't know. We'll see. Usually he, he, he comes out on top on something, so. But um, but the next one that's coming out that I'm excited to see is Aladdin. I know it's getting a lot of hate right now, but come on, guys. We all can't bring Robin Williams back. There's no way that you can do that. I know he he's the genie for most of us 90s kids and adults and whoever was, whoever was born, like, in the 90s during this time. But... I'm sorry, guys. You just can't bring him back. And I, I'm sorry. They're going to eventually gonna have to do it no matter what to make Aladdin a live action. And I think Will Smith will do a very, very awesome, awesome genie. He's going to try to emulate as much as he can of Robin Williams, as much as he possibly can. I mean, he can't be exactly like him. But he's going to he's gonna really gonna do the what he thinks is going to deem worthy. And I know and he's probably thinking the same thing. I can't emulate Robin Williams either, but I'm going to try to do my own spin with a little bit of mixture of 
what Robin's, Robin Williams did bring to the genie character. Now, for my thing is, people, I don't know, understand why, why everybody's so hateful about it, but to me, I think Will Smith as the genie would have been looked a lot better, to my opinion, a lot better not being so CGI and blue. I think he would have been done a lot better as more of the human, like they showed in that, you, I think that Us Weekly, whatever, um, we call it the magazine or whatever, they threw the, did the first look. I I liked him that way. I think that would have been a better thing for me because now he just looks really awkward as being the blue genie. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. That's just how I feel. I, he looks awful, awful, awful. I think he would have been better just being – more looking like a human genie type one than the blue version as you would put in the man animated version. I know some of you guys are all like Die Hard, he has to be blue and whatnot, but to me, Will Smith being CGI like that just kind of makes it look really, really not the greatest for him. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but, anyways. But everybody else, it looks good. I, I mean, there might be a little things I'm kind of like iffy about because there's some scenes that make it look like oh, we're in India, when it's not really India, it's Middle East. I, I don't know. I don't know the cultures very well, and I'm not going to sit there and say, I. oh, but to me it felt like it was going that direction a little bit on some stuff than it did what the real thing is. But, I mean, they could be doing it too, and I just don't know. Like I said, I don't know the cult. I don't know, you know, the Middle East cultures as much, but I, I can educate myself. I know I could. Oh, you guys can educate me. I don't, I mean, I'm not, I'm open to learning anything and everything, so... But I don't know. But all in all, it looks like it's going to be a really, really awesome movie. I think it's going to be one of the big highlights out of 2019, followed by another one that's coming up that I'm going to talk about. But just we'll wait. But I think that one and another one is going to be the biggest hit out of 2019. As for Disney itself, I'm not including Marvel, but just the Disney part. Because Marvel is kind of like their, their own thing, even though Disney owns them, blah, blah, blah type thing. But... But, so, I'm really excited to see Aladdin. That's going to be the number one I'm going to be excited to see. So, let's look out for that review <laughs> coming up in May, actually. That's, I, I'm surprised it's coming out in May. I was like, yes! So, but anyways, going on to the next one is Toy Story 4. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, this movie, but to me, I feel like it's, I, to me, it feels like Disney's trying to milk more out of Toy Story. To me, I think it ended well with Toy Story 3. Unless, I mean, I don't know. Like, they could have, like, made Toy Story. I know they could say Toy Story 4, but maybe they should probably add, like, oh, this is Bonnie's part. You know, if we're, I know we're going to probably be with Bonnie because, you know, uh, Andy's off to college and stuff. But it would be nice to kind of, like, do, like, Toy Story 4, like, Bonnie story or something to that effect, and so it's so, so it's like separate from the Andy one, you know. So I, I, that's how I feel about it. But I, I'm not the one that creates it. It's just me and my opinion. But to me, I feel like Toy Story Four is just kind of like almost milking the the franchise a little more. I think it ended pretty well with Toy Story Three. To me, it was a nice ending. But unless they can make it sound more like, oh, this is, I know it's, like, supposed to be, but I just wish it was more just saying, like, oh, it's Bonnie's story or something like that, instead of just Toy Story 4. Unless, unless Andy comes back, that's fine. I, I mean, I have no problem with that, but, nah, I don't know. It's going to be an iff iffy one for me, too. It's another one of those, like, I might go see to see, like, if it's worth it or not, or, you know. Opinions, guys. Opinions. That's all I can say. So, you know, we'll see when it comes out. I guess. And that's coming out June 20th. See, like, so much all these movies are just coming out, like, month by month. Well, the next one I'm going to talk about, and it's going to probably be the... Between uh, the Aladdin and this movie, is going to be the biggest two highlights out of the whole entire Disney franchise, which is The Lion King. Yeah. This one I'm kind of excited for. I'm just like, yes, Lion King is going to look, and it looks so awesome. I've seen the trailer. It looks very, very awesome. But I kind of wish, I'm, I'm just going to be sitting there saying this, guys. I'm kind of biased, too. Like, you guys are all biased about the genie. I'm biased by the voice actors from the original that I wish they brought back besides James 
Earl King, what, who played Mufasa. He's the only one that's coming back. But all the other ones are still alive that could probably play, play those same characters. Well, besides, like, maybe the young Simba and Nala voices, they probably can't get back because, you know, they were kids at the time and not now they're all adults. But other than that, I wish they brought the original cast back. I mean, don't get me wrong, I might be liking the new cast, but I feel like still at heart with the new cast, even though they're, I mean, if they're still alive and still, you know, doing whatever, I wish they would keep them, so, I don't know, we'll see how everything goes, but anyways, I'm still excited for it, I, I'm really going to love it, it was, it brought me nostalgia when I first watched the trailer with the whole beginning and everything, I was just like, oh my god, the feels, that, that, oh, that, James Earl King's voice and that, oh, that Mufasa voice is just perfect. But, but we'll see how these guys do. They're up to, well, pretty much everybody's living up to these animated versions that are like, woo, no, you know, so. But I'm really excited. It, that one's going to be the biggest one this year, and so is um, Aladdin. Between those two, I think they're going to be the biggest Biggest things that's going to happen in 2019. They might be going neck and neck in what they're going to do. <laughs> so, I mean, I love it. I, they brought two movies. So far, they brought most of the movies I watched as a kid coming to life. I know they did Beauty Beast a few years ago, so we'll see. We'll see if they live up to like Beauty and the Beast's standards and the Jungle Book standards. So... Anyways, the next one that I'm going to talk about is Frozen 2, which is coming out in November. November 27th. Alright, guys. Lots to talk about Frozen 2. They gave us a trailer, a teaser trailer, but there's, like, so much, like, missing. Like, you see a stuff and you're just kind of like, what does that have to do with anything? But, also, I kind of like to know what they're going to do with the storyline. Looks like, you know, they're finding something because if Elsa's like trying to do something with her powers and do something with the ocean or freezing it or something, I don't know what they're doing. So there might be a big fight going on. Who knows? I mean, is Anna and Kristoff getting married? Or they are married? Don't know. Or is Elsa going to get a lover of some sort, either female or male? Who knows? It's all up in the air, guys, and I can't wait till they give us the good full trailer of Frozen 2 because I'm excited to see what they're what they're adding to the story from the first one because I'm ex just, yes and then they brought all the voice actors back and I'm so excited and that's the only only animated uh, movie that's happening right now with Disney right now with Frozen 2 the rest of them are more the considered the real life whatever story but this was the only animated one that's out <laughs> So I'm excited for Frozen 2, and I can't wait for the trailer to come out so I can talk more about it and see what's going on with them. I'm so excited. But so far, and also, guys, I'm going to mention this. They are did they changed Maleficent to, I think it's something like that, The Dark Mistress or something like that. It's not coming out in 2020 now. It's coming out in 2019. I think it's coming in October. It's going to go around my birthday somewhere. So that one's got rescheduled or boot up, whatever you want to call it, it's coming out in, in October. So that one might be another one I might go see. And that one I'm kind of curious because are we doing like a prequel or are we doing what's after from Sleeping Beauty, you know, type one or what? Because that's kind of like, wait, what? How can you make a Maleficent too? Or she has her own different story that we just don't know or that she's going to add more to <laughs> So, but anyways, guys, that's all the movies that's coming out in 2019 that I'm excited for. And, well, half excited and half like, mm, whatever. So, keep an eye out for reviews of each of these movies because I do plan on seeing all the ones I didn't mention. And there's some other ones out there, too, but I'm not going to mention. Like I said, Marvel and Star Wars are on their own little platforms. And I, I do like Marvel, but I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. I mean, I'm not, I never got into that franchise. I tried. I tried watching them, but I'm just not a big fan of it. And I, and power to the old ones that are fans of Star Wars. Power to you. I, I think you're awesome. You're a cool group, whatever. Just It's just not my thing. Sorry, guys. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. And hopefully I'll see you next Thursday. So 
please like and share this video and please subscribe and if you do subscribe hit the bell down below to know when I post I post every Thursday and also just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written so I'll see you guys all next time